In this video, I'm going to do two examples from the packet about completing the square for hyperbolas. In other words, we are changing from general to standard form for a hyperbola. Just as a quick reminder, you know you have a hyperbola if your x squared and y squared have opposite signs. So here you'll notice that your x squared is negative so, and that your y squared has a positive 4. So we know this is going to be a hyperbola. Now we start this just like we've started all our other problems. So we're going to separate our x's and our y's and move our constants to the other side of the equal sign. I'm going to leave my y's first because it's the positive one. So the x, is, the x squared is the negative, so I'm going to put that second. So I have 4y squared plus 64y. Then I'm going to leave my blank, and then I'm going to subtract x squared plus 14x plus blank, and then that's going to equal negative 143. Now, again, just like with ellipses, I'm going to factor out that leading coefficient because when I complete the square, the way we've studied completing the square you need to have the le no leading coefficient on the y squared or the x squared. So I'm going to factor it out. I have four parentheses y squared plus 16y plus blank. Now this was the slightly different, the slight difference than with an ellipse is that we actually have to factor out the negative one because the other thing we want is we want the leading coefficient on the x squared and the y squared to be positive. So not only for it to be kind of an invisible one, but also for it to be a positive number. So if I take out a negative one, I have to remember to change the sign on my other x term. So I'm going to have x squared minus 14x. That is probably going to be the biggest mistake place. And now I go and fill in my blanks just like I've always done. So in here, divide 16 by 2, we get 8, 8 squared is 64. Divide 14 by 2, we get negative 7, and negative 7 squared is going to be plus 49. Then I need to remember to balance my equation. So I'm going to add to the right, not 64, but 4 times 64, which is 256. Remember to distribute. And then not positive 49, but I'm actually going to subtract 49. Now I'll rewrite with factors. So I'm going to do 4, and then I have y plus 8 all squared. Remember, I factored this down here. And then I'm going to change minus 1x minus 7 all squared. And that whole thing is going to equal 64. Now, remembering that my standard form always equals 1, I'm going to divide everything by 64. Divide by 64, and then I will go and simplify it, and this is going to be my final answer now. So the 4 and the 64, that's going to become 1 and 16, and then my 1 and my 64 are just going to stay the same, and then I'll have 1. So my final answer will be y plus 8 squared over 16 minus x minus 7 squared over 64 equals 1. Alright, I'm going to do another example that's actually on the second page of the packet. So I'm going to start this problem off in the same way, separate my x's and my y's, and this time I'm going to put my x's first because the x squared was positive, so I have 4x squared plus 8x plus blank, then minus 9y squared minus 36y plus blank, and that's going to equal a positive 68. Now I need to factor out my leading coefficients on the x squared and the y squared, so I'll have 4 parentheses x squared plus 2x plus blank. Now the negative has to come with the 9 here, so this negative comes out with the 9, which means I have to change the sign on my 36 as well. So I'll have negative 9 parentheses y squared plus 36 divided by 9, so that's 4y plus blank, parentheses, that still equals 68. 
Now I'm going to go and fill in my blank. So I am going to put a 1 here because 2 divided by 2 squared is 1. And then a 4 on this blank because 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 2 squared. Well, that's going to be 4. And then I have to, of course, remember to balance my equation. So I'm going to add 4 times 1 and negative 9 times 4, so minus 36. And now I'll rewrite it uh, with in the factored form. So I have 4 and then parentheses x plus 1 squared minus 9 y plus 2 squared. Remember we changed this to a plus. And that's all going to equal 36. Now remember I'm not done. I want it to equal 1. So I'm going to divide everything by 36 and then simplify. So this is going to change to a 9 and then here we're going to change this one to a 4. So we have x plus 1 squared over 9 minus y plus 2 squared over 4 all equals 1. Hope this helped.